what I need to know when I'm when I build the fish feeder is how many steps of the motor is it going to take to get from one feeding position or hole to the next hole where the food falls out. Um, I need to get this fairly accurate so that uh, well so that the feeding occurs correctly and we don't accidentally uh, not feed on one day because the hole hasn't quite got to the position where the food falls out or that on another day maybe it feeds twice because more than, than the expected food has fallen out because we've passed two holes. So um, in order to determine that because we could either compute it but I'm not quite sure exactly how to uh, this is a, a fairly uh, simple debugging or utility um, tool so it's called I've called it the motor step tool um, and what I've got is a step count, which is at zero at the moment. You'll recognize this motor control, these motor control variables from the, the other code. Um, and we've got the current pin, the pin count, and we know which pins we're using to, to drive the motor. Now, what we do is we configure the IO pins as, as usual on, on setup. We're going to be using push button two on the launch pad itself. And we're going to be using the red and LED green LEDs. Um, so we set all of the, the motor pins to output, uh, and we've set the LEDs to output, and we've set push button to to be input. In my case, pull up because resistor 34 is missing on my launch pad. Um, I'm enabling serial output, and I'm printing out something on the the serial monitor, which is what uh, we would be using here. Oop, what did I do? Serial monitor. Yep. No. Nope. Not happy doing serial monitor, I suppose, because my MSP430 is not currently plugged in. Um, and then we'll say we're stopped, as in we'll show the, the red LED. Step the motor is pretty simple. We just go to the next step and we increment the step count. Um, we switch the LEDs so you can see that you know we've registered the fact that you've pressed the button. And in our loop, um, if push button 2 is pressed, we step the motor. So it's fairly straightforward. Um, you press the button, we step the motor. You press the button, we step the motor. And this is going to allow me to press or hold down the button um, and have the motor turn. And I can visually see the feedback or what's actually happening. And when I get to the correct number of steps to go from one hole to the next hole, I will see on the uh, serial monitor the serial monitor here, I'll be able to see it say how many steps it's taken to reach that. And of course I can hit the reset button at any point. So I'll turn it until the hole is precisely where I want it to be. I'll hit the reset button, which will set the step count back to zero because this whole program will run all over again. And then I will press it or hold it down until it reaches precisely the next hole. And from that, I will get the step count, the number of steps it has taken. This I'll use in the other program to get the exact number of steps.